Welcome to lesson 2. I have already prepared the text and footage images for you. However, in order to make this course most useful and practically applicable, I suggest you to replace my text and images with your own ones. This will not affect your study, yet in the end you will get a unique video that you can use for your marketing purposes. I will attach the list of websites where you can find high-quality images, videos and download them for free. You will find this list in the source materials, or you can always use the source materials for this lesson. Ok, let's start making the design. Move the text up, we will use it later. Open the footage folder in the source materials and drag the slide 1 image into your PPT file. Align the image to the center of the slide. It will be our background. It is not bad, but I want to make it more attractive, so let's make some adjustments. Let's open Guides View Guides. By default, you have two guides vertical and horizontal. To add more of them, press Ctrl and drag one of the guides. Let's place them at the 638 on the left and right and at 650 on top and bottom. Now we duplicate the image Ctrl D and align to the center and the middle. Choose the top image and press Format Crop. We need to crop the image in accordance to our guides. Now let's apply several effects. Choose the second original image, press Format and let's adjust its color. Change the saturation to zero. Next, select the inner image and try to click Format Image. Choose Effects, Shadow, Outer, Offset Shadow. As you see, the shadow is too heavy. Let's make it more accurate. Change the transparency to 79 and blue to 13 pixels. Now it's look better. Next, we add a new shape. Insert Shapes Rectangle. Remove the border and change the color to blue. In RGB it will be 31, 190, 202. And make it semi transparent. 64% will work fine. Now let's add the logo. Drag the slide 1 logo image from the footage. As you may see, it is not contrast. So let's make the light background for it. Add the white rectangle with no border and change the transparency to 26. Set the width to 396 and height to 0.97. Duplicate it and change the color to black one. Increase its width to 431. Move the black rectangle underneath the white one and align both rectangles regarding the blue one. To do so, select all three rectangles, align, align top. Check if the black and white rectangles align to the center. Now move the white rectangle down, use arrows on your keyboard. It's about 13 uh, clicks, so it looks nicer. Next, duplicate the white rectangle and place it right on top of the first one. It is important to make it very accurate. That is why select both white rectangles and press Align Object Center and Middle. Select the black and holding the Ctrl key, click the white rectangle. Go to Format, Merge Shapes, Subtract. Change its color to the white. Now bring the logo to front and make it smaller to fit the inner rectangle. Place it in the middle of semi-transparent rectangle and align center. Now it is time to format the rest of the text. Let's divide the text into two parts – Attention and Coaches, Speakers and Trainers. Let's make Attention in lot of black, uppercase and the font size 54. Create a new rectangle, 
636 width and 102 height. Remove the border and fill it with a pink color. Open the format shape menu and apply the following RGB color 238, 66, 102. Let's make it more attractive by adding several decorative elements. Create a new triangle and apply the same formatting as the rectangle. Choose Rectangle, Format Painter, click Triangle. Next, rotate it 90 degrees left and change the size to 102 width and 0.42 height and place it along with the rectangle. Next, duplicate the triangle, Ctrl D, rotate 180 degrees and place it on the other side of rectangle. Try to make it really accurate. Zoom if needed to avoid blank spaces between triangles and rectangle. It looks nice, but let's add a few more decoration elements. Make two copies of the triangle and change one of them to black for convenience. Move the black rectangle over the pink one, leaving the part of pink triangle on the left. Now select pink one first and then Ctrl click black one. Format Merge Shapes Subtract. Now we have a nice looking custom shape. Let's move it next to the first triangle, duplicate and place it close to the second one. Try to keep the same spacing. PowerPoint gives hints that will help you to make the right spacing. Let's group these two new shapes. Ctrl Select and right click Group or shortcut Ctrl G. Next, duplicate the group shapes and move the copy on the other side. Now let's ungroup both shapes. Ctrl click both figures and right click ungroup or shortcut Ctrl Shift G. To make it more harmonious, I want to add transparency. Select two first shapes on both sides and set transparency to 25%. Select the second two shapes and make transparency 50%. Now I like it. Next, move the attention text to the center of the first rectangle and bring it on top. Select the rectangle first and Ctrl click the text layer. Choose Format, Merge Shapes, Subtract. Looks good, but not contrast. That is why let's add one more semi transparent layer under the rectangle. Insert Shape, Rectangle, and draw a rectangle on top of the text to cover it. Change the color to white. Remove the border and set transparency to 35% and move it under the pink rectangle by pressing Send backwards. Keep clicking it till you see the rectangle under the attention text. We finished the sign. Let's proceed with the rest text. Create a new white rectangle with no border and change its height to 187. and straight it to the size of the slide. Set the transparency to 13%. Next, choose a right triangle and draw a small triangle. Make it white with no border and flip it vertical. Let's adjust its size to fit the space between the blue rectangle and slide border. Duplicate the triangle, flip it horizontal and move it to the other side of the slide. Use the PowerPoint Auto Helper to set the right position. We're almost done with this slide. All you need is to add the rest of the text to the white rectangle. Select the text and right click Bring to Front so the text be visible over the rest layers. Change the text to Auto, size 48, uppercase, and make it blue. Align it to the center of the rectangle. Let the coaches and speakers be on the first line and the rest text on the second line. Let's add a small inner shadow to make it more contrast. Select the layer, Format Shape, Text Options, Text Effects, Inside Center Shadow and reduce blue to a tree. Let's add the final touch and adjust the attention text position. Group all pink shapes, select all and press G. 
or right click Group. Now press Ctrl to select the white rectangles on top and bottom and choose Distribute vertically in the line top. Great! We finished the design of the first slide and can move to the second one.